Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Um, So this one might be a bit shorter because these next two pages are technically not numbered, but they are their own special like notes pages. Uh, you'll also notice my Christmas lights are gone. It is uh, currently for me, because I record these the night before. So it is currently January 12th. I think it's the 12th. So yeah, and it's coming out on the 13th. So yeah, Christmas stuff's gone. Christmas is done, it's over with, but let's not be sad, because there's a new one every year, I mean, so, wait till November at the least, and you're good, right? Always have another Christmas to look forward to. <clears throat> Anyhow, let's go ahead and get started with this. So, Isaac made a difference. Isaac was the only child of Abraham and Sarah. Growing up as an only child carries with it certain benefits. For one thing, Sharing is just a concept you learn, not a life and death struggle as in most families. Only childhood also includes special challenges. You get all the attention, sometimes too much. Isaac had the added factor of parents who were old enough to let, to be his great grandparents. No wonder he had some special problems later when he became a father of twins. Isaac was a promise as well as a person. He had to learn to live with that fact. He was the first installment of God's promise to create a nation through Abraham. For instance, one day his father told him they were going on a camping trip. The next thing he knew, Isaac found himself tied up on an altar about to be sacrificed as a burnt offer offering. Fortunately, this was only a test, a test of Abraham's trust in God. An alternative sacrifice was provided. Um, this is cutting edge here, by the way. If Isaac didn't learn anything else about God while under the knife, he certainly realized his faith was, faith was serious business. His life wasn't full of accomplishment, but he kept the faith and he passed it on. He gave God's special blessing to Jacob and continued the generations, which became God's people, Israel. You can too. Making a difference may not lead to greatness. Perhaps you will seem to do little more than be a faithful spouse, caring parent, growing disciple of Jesus, but there are stuff from which God makes a difference in other people's lives. In God's hands, little differences become big. Want to know more? Read about Isaac's life at, in Genesis seventeen fifteen through thirty five twenty nine, Romans nine seven through ten, Hebrews eleven seventeen through twenty, and James tw two twenty one through twenty four. Also describe his significance. Okay. Rebecca made a difference. Even today, in some cultures, marriages are arranged. Brides and grooms don't get to choose each other. We see. We who see these choices as absolute rights find it hard to imagine a time when arranged marriages were the norm. Rebecca grew up in such a world. She lived in a large household ruled by her father and brother. They had the power to decide her marital fate. But God was also working in the background of her life. One day when she went to the city well for water, she met an old man named Eliezer, a servant of Abraham. Eliezer had just prayed for guidance in finding a suitable wife for Abraham's son Isaac. Rebecca turned out to be the answer to that prayer. Both Rebecca's timing and her attitude fit Eliezer's expectations. She didn't hesitate to be helpful, even before she found out he represented a distant relative. Cutting edge. After Eliezer met her family and explained his mission and the events as at events at the well, Rebecca's father and brother realized God was arranging these events. They agreed to release Rebecca for marriage with Isaac. Gifts were presented. Return travel arrangements were made. Then Rebecca was honored with the fi with final veto. Will you go with this man? Genesis twenty four fifty eight. Her simple affirmation took God's plan for the world another step. She made a difference. You can too. Rebecca had a lot to learn. She made some major mistakes as a wife and a mother, but her early and beautiful co cooperation with God's work in her life was never undone. If we were going to make a difference in, in our tomorrows, and if we are going to cooperate with the difference God wants us to make wants to make through us, it will hinge on what we do with our nows. What decisions and opportunities are before you now? In what ways are you seeking God's guidance about the choices you have? How ready are you to respond to his direction? Want to know more? Read Rebecca's story in Genesis 24 through 27. All right, well, that's everything um, for today. Because again, like I said, it was going to be a shorter one because these are like no pages. The text is a lot bigger. But next week, it'll be a bit longer. There's another note page still. And then after that, it'll be back to like 12 minutes. But that's the two pages. So um, anyhow, see you all next week. And thank you for sticking around.